Okay, moving inside on the Montana 325 RLT. Uh, walking in, uh, first thing you'll see is this uh, black box here, or brown. Uh, this is your converter. Uh, so you just pull that cover down. You have all your 110 breakers here. They're all labeled. Uh, then you have your 12 volt fuses there, and those are labeled as well. Uh, you have your sink right here. Um, these covers are like cutting boards and they also act as more counter space when you're not using it. Uh, you got a bunch of storage here. Down here as well. Uh, outlet there, outlet there, and a light right here. And you got some cabinets above. Now right here, this is your monitor panel. Uh, so you can push, these These are buttons right here, you can push each one and it'll, lights will come on telling you how full it is or for your battery, how charged it is. Uh, so your battery is full, fully charged. Fresh water tank is empty. Uh, black tank is two thirds right now, but we haven't brought it out to dump it yet. Uh, that'll be done. Uh, before you receive it uh, we always dump the tanks and flush them out that way you start with new and you don't have to deal with other people's crap for say <laughs> uh, then you got your gray tank and then you got the galley tank which is the gray tank uh, that's outside of uh, the cab or the compartment uh, where the other two valves are uh, the galley is the outside one uh, then you got stairs leading up here. Uh, you got a couple light switches. Uh, okay, so this one right here will be for your ceiling lights. Uh, that one right there. If I can figure it out. Uh, you have a light right there. And then the first one is your porch light right there. Uh, then you have a switch here for the fan um you have the light and then also a fan you do have to be plugged in to your power uh k or your shore power uh to use that because that is 110 uh then you got uh your slide switch right here uh, because your slide rooms are hydraulic they all work off one switch uh so before you open it or close up your slides Go around, check all your slides, make sure all the cabinets are closed, everything's out of the way, and put away, because you don't want something in the way, because it'll either break what's in the way, or break the slide room, or both. Uh, so just double check everything, do a quick walk around, uh, make sure everything's out of the way, and then all you do is just press in, or you press the button in or out, either way, um, and you'll hear the pump going, and then once all the slides are out, you kind of hear it die down a little bit or in or out, it'll die down a little bit. That means it's done. Uh, then here you have an electric fan up there. Uh, so you can hit open. Uh, you... So you press open and it'll go up. And then that's all the way up. And then you have your fan control here. So that's on, it's at low. And then turn it up all the way. And you can control the speed and that's just venting air out. So like if you're cooking on the stove, you do have the vent above the stove, but then you also have that for more air circulation. Um, and then to use the fan, you do have to have the lid open. It's just a safety feature of it. Uh, and then uh, turn it off and then hold close. And we'll go down. And then it's closed. 
you do want that closed while you're traveling. Uh, you don't want anything to happen, so just make sure it's closed. Uh, then you have your thermostat here. So you have cool for your air conditioner, and then your furnace. Uh, with the air conditioner and furnace, uh, make sure this fan switch is on auto, because uh, if you have the fan on, and then maybe you won't do it right now, but uh, if you just have the fan on, the fan and the air conditioner will come on. Uh, so if you try and run the furnace, the fan will come on in the air conditioner. So just make sure that's on auto. Um, and then with the air conditioner, you can control the fan speed high and low. Uh, and then the furnace, you just turn on furnace and turn to what temperature you want. Uh, right here, this is where the central vac is. So you just open that up and it'll turn on and there are hoses that hook up to that uh you have a light switch right here for this uh hallway light uh then behind this door is your bathroom uh so you have light switch here and i believe that's for the fan Uh, you do have another fan in here. Yeah, so that switch is for the fan. So you can leave that open. Uh, you have your fan speed right there. And then you can just control it, uh, turn it on and off with this switch if you want. Uh, and then make sure that's closed up while you're traveling. Uh, some storage up here. Uh, your toilet right here uh, you have a foot lever on this side press it a little bit it'll add water press it all the way down it'll flush it uh, your shower right here uh, there's a little rock lock right here uh, so when you're traveling uh, it won't open and unlock it then you got your shower uh, pretty decent size and you got a little skylight right there uh, you got your bathroom sink with your medicine cabinet. Uh, then your main GFI is right here. Uh, so if any of the breakers don't work or uh, you hear a popping noise coming from here, it just means that this uh, tripped, uh, just like at your house. Uh, you got reset right there. All right. Close this up. Uh, then in the bedroom, uh, you got your... Uh, wardrobe right here with all your drawers and a little closet right there then your door you got a barn style door it's hold on by these straps just pop these out and then your door will slide open or slide closed all the way and then when you're traveling just make sure it's all the way there and locked uh, your bed is right here and I believe there is some storage under here, but not a lot. Uh, and then you have a little vent right here. Uh, this one does not have a fan. Um, and then you got uh, duct work for air conditioner. Uh, you got your TV right here behind that door uh, with all the cable hookups there. Uh, more storage under here. Uh, this does have washer dryer prep right there. Uh, so if you wanted that, you could get it. Uh, then you have a big walk-in closet. Uh, that little tab you just pull out and then that slides open. Uh, it's a nice little walk-in closet with space to hang stuff and a little storage up top. And then above the bed, you have a light with a little switch in the center. Uh, then right there, that crank is for the antenna on the roof for the TV. Uh, so you can crank that up. Go over and show you. Uh, so you can see you have up and down. Uh, so you just crank it up. And then once it's all the way up, 
you can pull this down and rotate it uh, to try and get a better signal. And then before you uh, go and crank it down, just make sure those two arrows are lined up because there's a groove on top of the roof um, that the antenna sits in so it's not flopping on the side when you're going down the road. All right, uh, moving to the back. Uh, showed you the sink. Um, your stove right here. This cover folds up and then the front half will fold down uh, like that. You do have a light in your fan. Uh, you have a little three burner stove top. Uh, there is a sparker right here. Uh, turn that to light. Uh, and just keep hitting the sparker until it lights up. And then the oven, uh, the knobs right here. Uh, to use this, uh, you have to turn this to pilot. Uh, let's see. There's, the pilot's right there. Uh, so you need a long lighter uh, to light that. Uh, get your lighter lit, put it right at the pilot. And then you'll push and hold this knob. Once it's lit, uh, and if you move your lighter away, and if it's lit, hold that knob for another 15 to 20 seconds uh, just to get the thermal coupler warm so that the gas valve stays open. Uh, and then once you let off of it and it stays lit, then you can turn it to what temperature you want. Um, and if you're doing a lot of baking throughout the day, you can just turn this back to pilot. That way you don't, you don't have to keep lighting it every time. Uh, you got your household microwave here, uh, pretty simple, some storage up here, you have a, another light right there. Uh, your fridge is right here, uh, to open it, you got these little tabs right here, uh, these are just for storage, uh, that way there's no mildew or moisture is built up in there. Uh, those just slide off uh, so your fridge will close like that then you just push the tab and it'll open up then these uh, they'll just slide right in there and then it'll close right there and it'll keep a little gap so that the air can flow through there uh, to use this uh, you have your on off switch right there and then you have your source control right here so you this is pushed out it's on auto that's looking for electricity first. Uh, if you lose power overnight or whatever, um, it'll automatically go to gas. And if you only want it on gas, just push that button in and it'll light right up. Uh, then you have your temperature control right here. Five being the coldest, one being not that cold. Uh, and then you can just turn it off. You have another light right here. Uh, and some storage right there. Uh, your entertainment center right here. You got your radio. Um, and let's see. Uh, your TV right here. Uh, it is strapped down for travel. Uh, undo the strap and it'll uh, fold out like that. Um, and your radio is also your DVD player. And that's already hooked up for you. And then when you're done using the TV and ready for travel, you can strap it back up. Uh, just like that. Uh, your remotes are right here. Uh, cable for the TV. Uh, more cabinet space up there. Your dinette's right here. Um, and then you have this little piece that will extend like that for some more space and then uh, when you're traveling uh, just pull that down or when you're getting ready to close it up just flip that down so that the slides can close all the way uh, your light above the dinette a little push button right there and then on the other side you have your couch uh, with more storage uh, same light then you got some recliners back here and some more storage with some lights on them. Uh, then you, this has a little lamp with a little nightstand right here. Uh, that will plug in. There's outlet there and an outlet there, uh, either one. 
Um, and then you do have storage on that side. Um, and like I was saying, with making sure that all the cabinets are closed, with this one open, it's right in front of the slide. So if the slide comes to close and this is open, it will rip this right off. Uh, so just make sure everything's closed. And then in this compartment, that is the hose for the central back system. Uh, so it's right there. Um, and that is everything with the 2008 Montana. Um, thank you for shopping at Mackelson. I hope you enjoy it.